I'm just going to do a brief introduction and then I will pass it over to you. Okay, great. Okay. So thanks everyone for being here um, and joining us for learning how to connect with your team and customers for success. Um, and if you don't know me, my name's Emily. I'm the content creator at Arbyte. And if you don't know Arbyte, we are a contact solution provider. And our aim is to empower organizations to have more pleasant conversations with consumers. So um, if you wanna learn more about the products that we offer, you can reach out to me after this. Um, but um, I'm going to pass it over now to Christy Kazarowski. Um, she has over 36 years of real estate experience. And she has been passionate about real estate ever since she was in high school. Throughout the years, she's had a vast amount of experience in every facet of the real estate business. Um, and she loves working with her clients to make their dreams come true together. So Christy, I'm gonna hand it over to you now. Thanks, Emily. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us on this dreary, rainy Thursday. I don't know what day it is for our, uh, quarantine, but I feel like it's over 30. <laughs> but we're going to talk about um, how my team, I work with the Certo team, that's uh, all through MJ Peterson. And we have a team of like eight or nine of us. Uh, we're very close personally, besides professionally. So what happens in our personal lives, as well as our business that we uh, either do well or or need a boost. We were always there for each other. So we really try and do bi-weekly phone meetings um, where we all call into this one number. We have our access code and we pretty much just talk about what's going on with our families, especially with the, the COVID out there. See, make sure everybody's healthy. Um, and then obviously, being home with all your family, you have some funny stories that we love to share only because you need a laugh. <laughs> um, and then we just talk about some deals that we might have or some suggestions um, between all of us. We just put our brains together and kind of do that bi-weekly. Um, we also try and do a Zoom meeting uh, once a month. And we just really kind of make each other accountable for the things that we're supposed to be doing that we normally would be doing but because we have all this time we kind of lax on those things so we really just rely on each other to get us through these times and work through a a deal that might be going south or even just a pat on the back to say that you did a good job because we need that you know, so when we all get along, so it, it just makes it um, a real fun environment and we just really try and just support each other. So that's how we try and stay together as our team. Um, we usually do like a happy hour uh, every uh, month or so or do something with our clients, but we haven't been able to do any of that. So we kind of take that upon ourselves to keep in touch with our own clients and uh, communicate through um, ways that are easier for the client. Um, it's a little tricky because um, we're not allowed to do any face-to-face -face with any of the public, our sellers, our buyers, or other realtors, even uh, appraisers or inspectors. We're just not allowed to do that. Um, we have to wear our masks. Um, when we enter into properties, but how we communicate with our clients do through this is through these Zoom meetings like we're having today. Um, we also utilize um, a lot of emails, a lot of texting, um, and we just call our buyers uh, a lot. Again, we 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 kind of take a personal approach on a lot of our business. So we become friends with our clients as well. So we always out there extending if they need anything, we're always there for them. But as far as getting new customers, that's been a real challenge through all of this. 
um, especially trying to get a seller to agree to put their house on the market with this going on and who's coming in my house and this kind of things. It's, it's worrisome for them. So um, the biggest challenge is just to, to get the clients to understand that we're there to help them. So if we have to ask them to leave, it's for good reason. So we never really have that face to face, which is a little different than our normal business that we're used to. So um, we ask the, the sellers to leave if we're gonna sell their home for them. And that gets us a little time in the property to make some notes about the property um, that the seller may have not told us about. We take some pictures, we do our measurements of the room sizes, um, some photos, videos. Um, even if we did a long one, a couple of short ones, we do a couple of videos just so that we get everything together and get out the house so the seller can come back home. And then we use what's called a um, authenticine that's through our MLS program to have our clients sign any documents that we need. So that's really made it easy to conduct business without actually being in front of your clients. They can sign the papers online and it's all secure and they feel real comfortable with that. But the other challenge is if they're not um, real tech savvy. So I've actually had to make copies of the documents, highlight everything, drop it off in a mailbox, wait a couple of days, go back and pick it up. And of course, explaining everything over the phone with them. So it's just been real weird, I guess. Difficult probably isn't the word. Um, it's just challenging, I guess. Um, buyers as well, new buyers are afraid because they really can't get into the properties either. So we're having to make appointments, get into the property with our gear and video the property or FaceTime, Zoom meeting through a showing for a buyer. And they physically don't see that property until they do their inspection, which is usually five to seven days after they've already made an offer. So it's really crazy that people are buying houses sight unseen, but they can still get out of that contract if something comes up with that inspection. No, you know, so that kind of keeps them um, a little off edge that they're going through all this and they may not even, you know, once they get in there, it might not be their house. So that's kind of been um, a challenge to get everybody to understand um, videos and getting into the nooks and crannies of the house with the video. Our um, Board of Realtors has uh, helped the situation for those that can't look at videos. Um, we were only allotted like 36 photos, still photos on the system. They've upped that to 50. So it gives you more pictures to be able to show the public. And in our description of the property, uh, it was like 600 characters and now it's like a thousand or 1500. So you can just really talk more about the property because you can't physically get into them. So um, everybody's trying to make it work. And I think um, I've hadn't had any animosity out there. Everybody's just really trying to help each other figure this out and, and find the best way to keep our clients happy and work for them. So um, I'm gonna say my tips for working at home and uh, today's a big thing I was sharing with the girls. Um, I got to put lipstick on today <laughs> and it doesn't sound like it's a big thing, but still get up in the morning with the normal time you get up, set your bedtimes, keep your schedule like it was. Um, take a shower, get dressed as if you're going to meet some clients or go to the office. Um, once you're sitting at that desk and you feel like I, I need to get, go take a walk, 
make a lunch break, go fix yourself a sandwich, take the dog for a walk, sit outside. Um, it's really hard to keep yourself on track, but I feel like if you just close this in and this is your office, pretend like it's a day at the office when nobody's there, you get so much work done. Um, and it just gives you a little free time right now to do the things that we never have time for. <laughs> Cleaning, clean up your database, um, get in touch with some old clients that you hadn't heard from in a while, start writing some hand notes. People love hand cards. And at this time, that's a great communication just to let them know you're thinking about them. So that's kind of my tips for remote working for uh, you guys out there. So does anybody have any questions? I actually have a question for you. So yes. um, for people, so now you have more options you can take or post more pictures. Do you have any advice for like what kind of pictures buyers are often looking for to get um, like a better idea of what the house looks like? Like angles yes. or rooms? That's a great question. Um, like move the curtains back and take a picture of the windows. Um, they like to see if it's newer windows and if they're not, what condition are they in? Um, copies of, I'm sorry, photos of like the hot water tank, um, the furnace, the AC, the sump pump, all those mechanical things that people walk around and can physically see, but they're not the, 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 the prettiest pictures to post online when you want to see a property. Mm -hmm. um, we mostly keep the ones of the kitchen and the exterior and the ones that make you fall in love with the house. So um, they're looking for that. Um, maybe get into where if there's some crown molding. Um, when I make a video, I kind of like to go around the ceilings. They like to look for popcorn ceilings, um, light fixtures. Um, shower head because <laughs> sometimes they have those big double shower heads and it's just little things you know um if there's a lot of kitchen cabinets take a bunch of kitchen cab uh kitchen pictures really and not just el eliminate yourself to three pictures of the kitchen two pictures of the bathroom i mean the bedrooms three of the family room like now you just really Get into that fireplace, show them a picture of the fireplace, get outside with that pool, show them the yard, the gardens, like maybe not so much the exterior because they can still drive by the property, but definitely keep um, pictures of the interior and, and the ones that like I explained, you know, like the hot water tanks and stuff like that. Those are great tips. Um, I know I'm actually looking for a new apartment, so those are all things that I look for as a, yeah. you know, buyer. Definitely. Buyer. Yeah, um, and like, you know, even like, like I said, they can drive by the property, and I even tell buyers or their agents, one agent asked if he could go walk in the backyard. I said, sure, I'll let my, my sellers know. So I just call the sellers and let them know there's gonna be a strange man walking around your yard taking pictures with a mask on. <laughs> so at least they know, you know, and if it's a buyer too, can I go walk around the yard? Of course. So they can go look at, you know, some of the things on the exterior. Um, if there's some issues with the siding or the deck needs painting or, or things like that. But again, check with the realtor and make sure their clients know that somebody's coming to their house to, you know, gawk around their house. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so we have um, two more questions. The first one is, um, she said she liked your tip about sending out personalized notes. Um, and have you found it harder to connect with your clients? And if so, how do you overcome that? Well, I start with a call and everybody's busy, you know, if they have one of the essential jobs or taking care of whatever their work, um, I make a call. And if I don't hear back from them, 
that that night or that day, I usually send the card and just say, I was just checking in to see how you were doing. Give me a call if you need anything. I know everything, you know, just reassure them that you're there for them. And that's mm -hmm. what I leave on my message. Just checking in to see if you need anything. I was thinking about you. And I kind of just reiterate that into my card that I mail. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then um, every month we get these different cards from a real estate um, program that we work with. So every month they have just these real inspiring cards and I like the sayings on them and they are always real optimistic. So mm -hmm. it makes for a cute and uh, uplifting note. Again, at this time, anybody would love anything but a bill. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, and it's always mm -hmm. so rare to get a card in your mailbox rather than just like a bill or, you know, a junk mail. So I feel like that's a good way to stand out. Um, so I have another question here. Do you think that you will continue to use video and remote communication tools after things begin to return to normal? Actually, a lot of the agents um, have been talking about that um, on a different, a few different committees, and that's kind of what we've been saying in our meetings. You know, some of the older realtors think that you know this is a phase, and I'm going to wait, and this is going to pass because it's really not easy <laughs> creating a YouTube video these days. <laughs> but um, they think it's a phase. I think it's going to continue. I don't think it's going to be our only means of communication with uh, the outside world. I think it's going to be really useful, though, for clients out of town um, that can't physically get here yet. And they can actually look at a property through their realtor and the realtor knows. And then they make an appointment to come to town and they're not coming to town to see 13 houses they know they want to see one. So I feel like it's going to continue. And I think you may even see it with open houses because we do virtual open houses online too, which is interesting. <laughs> it's like a, a live Facebook. You schedule it and you, you advertise it. And then you, the video that you, you made, that's what is your live Facebook open house <laughs> that's cool yeah it's really neat <laughs> all right the questions well, come in just like this yeah i bet um well we don't have any more questions for you um but we really appreciate you being here and we appreciate everyone being here and again if you have any more questions about real estate or staying connected right now um you know whether it's you need video conferencing or you need chat just reach out. Our contact information is there on the screen and we will be distributing this recording to anyone who attended or registered. So um, stay tuned for that in your inbox. And thank you again, Christy, it was so nice to have you. I feel honored that you asked me, thank you so much. <laughs> we really appreciate it. And yeah, I hope stay everyone safe, has a great everybody. rest of the day. Yep, stay yeah. safe, stay healthy. Yes. And we will talk to you soon. Bye, everybody. Have a good day. Bye. Bye.